Uh, we're here today at the Canberra Rotary Peace Bell to recognise the 75th anniversary of the attack on Hiroshima in 1945. I have with me today His Excellency Ambassador Mr Takahashi and Mrs Takahashi and I welcome them now. Seventy-five years ago today, a single weapon of mass destruction laid waste to the city of Hiroshima in an instant, reducing it to ruins and claiming the lives of more than 100,000 of its citizens. Three days later, Nagasaki suffered the same fate, with immeasurable devastation falling upon the city and its inhabitants. I express my sincere condolences to the souls of the great number of atomic bomb victims. I also extend my heartfelt sympathy to those still suffering even now from the after effects of the atomic bomb. As the only nation to have suffered from the horror of nuclear devastation in war, Japan has a mission of persistently working to bring about a world free of nuclear weapons. Japan has upheld its three non-nuclear principles to never make, never use, nor import nuclear weapons and continues to serve as a resolute mediator to bridge the gap between nuclear and non-nuclear states and lead efforts by the international community on disarmament and non-proliferation. We will strive to realize a world free of nuclear weapons, hand in hand with those nations like Australia that share our visions and are willing to make it a reality. World peace bells are modeled after Japanese temple bells and are of great symbolism, a place where people unite in a prayer for peace. 23 world peace bells existed worldwide, and two of them are here in Australia, the one here in Canberra and the other in Kaura. These bells all echo the message of the first peace bell, that peace transcends borders, religions, and nationalities. Now we will ring the bell and offer our silent prayer. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 